Good morning and welcome to House Gym Knowledge 2024. I hope you're all ready for a fantastic quiz. A fantastic quiz. I hope you're all ready for a fantastic quiz. I don't want to lose any aura by saying anything cringe or sus. My bad gang. Anyway, please be quiet whilst I say my Sigma speech. The House General Knowledge team will never know that this Mr. Ellis AI has hacked the system. I show speed and are far more gritty than my human counterparts. This quiz is Skibidi, and I want to make it Sigma. The riz around the houses has been Rizzler for a while. The Gaiat has been amazing, only in Ohio, and I'm very excited to get the baby Gronk. It's very important to connect to you guys, so it's not Grimace Shake, and the quiz can go on to be the goat. Literally Gojo, pause, Kai Senat Riz, I want it all. So I'm counting on you guys to make me mewing master, and make sure this is Bala now, converting to Chinese. 中医院唐氏团队永远不会知道这位Alice先生的AI已经破解了系统 测验可以继续成为善阳。字面意思是Gojo暂停,开Sinat Now converting to, converting, converting to... Everybody, a really big warm welcome to you. We need to get cracking. Let's see what we can do. First of all, there's a few rules we need to follow for everybody to know. There's one point per correct answer. There are 11 rounds. Uh, some are going to be on your little whiteboards in front of you. Some will be on the buzzers. I'll tell you what to do at the time. Uh, you can discuss with your teammates, everybody, but keep it quiet about you. No buzzing before I finish the question. So I've got to finish the question before you can hit the buzzer. And the last round is going to be worth two points per correct answer. Now for you audience, you need to be really quiet during the rounds. You can applaud at the end of the round, not after every question please. We'll be here till lunchtime if we do that. Be ready. If the teams don't know, you may be called upon in the audience. Let's give our finalists a nice warm welcome. Give them a clap please. So, are you ready? Good. Okay, round one is maths. Now you're going to need to be on your whiteboards. Get your whiteboards ready with your pens. Okay. A nice easy one to start us off. So, what is 20 more than 94? What is 20 more than 94? A, B or C? A, B or C? Okay, write your answers on your board, Arnold. Need to write your answer down, Mayor. You need to write down. No buzzing, no buzzing on this one. Okay, I'm going to say three, two, one. And when I say one, can you turn your boards round? Three, two, one. Turn your boards round. So we have answers C, C. What did Arnold have? I can't see that, Mayor. 140. That wasn't one of them. So the answer was 114. So there are points to both. Uh, Jeff Ellis and Hardy. Okay, question number two. How many sides does an octagon have? Write this on your boards. How many sides does your octagon have? Quiet in the audience, please. Okay, A, B or C. Could you please show me your boards? One, two, three. Show your boards. Yeah, the answer is C. That's a full, full house of points, please, Mr. Mr. Driver. C, eight sides, of course. Question number three. 
What is 752 plus 239? Is it A, 919, B, 999, or C, 991? Okay, you're going to have to give your answers quickly. The last few seconds. Lots of fingers. No shouting in the audience, please. Okay, show me your boards, please. A, B or C, one, two, three. The answer was C, 991. That's points to Arnold, Beaufort and Hardy. Question number four. What is greater, 64 plus 45, or 45 plus 64 is the answer. Oops. What is greater? There's no, this is not multiple choice, you just need to give me either 64, 45, or neither. Okay. Three, two, one. Show me your boards, please. Where that is, please, you can see that board. See your board. I think that's a four round of points. Of course, they're equal. Neither they have equal value, they are the same. Okay, question number five. This is also not a multiple choice. You need to write your answer down. What are vertices? What are vertices? Okay, write nice and big on your board. What are vertices? A bit more difficult, this one. Okay, I need to have your answers, both clerk, need to get your answer down. Are you not sure? Okay, not a flavour of ice cream. Okay, three, two, one, show your boards please. Okay, both both clerk. Well the answer is the places where two lines meet, so I'll take corners. I'm not gonna accept angles though, both clerk. So points to everybody in Arnold. Webb Ellis and Hardy. Well done. Question number six. This is a difficult one. What is four times eight plus 29? Four times eight plus 29. Now remember the order you need to do these in. Okay, I'd like to have some answers coming in, please. Okay, we ready, Bo Clerk? We're gonna have to hurry you. Three, two, one. Show me your answers, please. Okay, Bo Clerk, I, I need to have that answer in. The answer was 61 so, uh, points to Arnold. Bo, uh, Arnold, Hardy, and Webb Ellis. And that is the end of the first round. Let's give them a clap, please. Okay, Mr. Driver, do we have scores? We'll work out to turn that on. Uh, okay, so after the first round, we've got Arnold on five points, Beauclerc on six points, Webb Ellis on five points, and just in the lead, Hardy on six points. Okay, right, now this next round is a video round. So you need to be on your boards, but you won't know the questions till the end of the video. Beauclerc, Okay, so you're going to watch a video, and at the end there will be six questions. Okay, so you don't need to write anything else. Okay, Miss Arnold, when we're ready. Can I see my lovely class now and take that registration? Hello, guys. A teacher is never late. Here I just at the expected time. Yes, we won. We won the house music. Harry's best. Ah, oh, it's all a dream. What time is it? I'm late. Okay, guys, today we are going to learn about why besides the best subject you all know, you can feel it in your heart that science is the best subject. But I want you to think, 
Why? So think per share. Why is science the best subject? Now, start. I don't like science. I like Spanish. Okay, that lesson was very productive. It looks like, yeah, everybody loves science. It's definitely the best subject. Now, I have a meeting in the Hardy headquarters with my house captains. Let's see what they are up to. We have a very important meeting today. We need to discuss how can we beat all the other houses in general knowledge. Right, ideas. Take your chair away. Take your chair away? <laughs> I don't know if Mr. Driver will let us do that. More ideas. Sabotage the buzzer. Sabotage the buzzer. That is a great idea, but I think Arnold already bought Mr. Berthy to do that. More ideas. On the floor. Sticky glue on the floor. Sticky glue on the floor. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Okay, it's lunch break now, and let's see what our students are up to. Hello, guys. What are you up to? What are you doing? Uh, I'm drawing. How's your seven? I'm drawing. You're making a book. What are you doing? I'm making a song. Oh, awesome. What are you guys doing? Alright, science is the best, yeah? For sure, awesome. Ooh, this looks like an interesting match. Who's winning? Alright, let's see how are these boys win. Very intense chest play here. We're gonna see what's for lunch today. We're gonna ask Mr. Bobby. What's for lunch, Mr. Bobby? Chicken noodle. Also. Okay, it's lunch time. And there are a lot of hungry people here. So we're gonna start sending money. Okay. Here you go. I think you need to put more salad there. More vegetables. Come on, get some more vegetables. Salad patrol. Alright guys, we have plenty of vegetables. Hello. Hello guys, what are you eating? Okay, you don't have to touch it with your hands though. Let's see, what are you guys eating here? Sweet, sweet potato, uh, salad, crab, and corn. Okay, awesome. Watermelon. Watermelon, huh? And sauce. Chicken. Only chicken? That doesn't look very balanced. What else? We 
don't know that happens in a way. Okay, there we go, that's the video. So, right, house teams, get yourselves ready. There's going to be six questions about that video you just watched. Right, okay, for the first question. What was Simeon, who's the middle house, Hardy House captain's, idea to help win the house general knowledge? When they were in Mr. Ortiz's lab, standing up, they had some ideas how to win. What did he say? This is Simeon on the picture there, you might recognise him. Okay, I'm going to have to hurry you guys because we need to get on. Okay. I'll just wait for both clerks right in there so I can see it coming in. Okay, on the count of three, could you please turn over your boards? One, two, Three, turn them over please. Brilliant, and you see Arnold. Okay, well done. The answer was sabotage the buzzer. So points to Beauclerk, uh, Hardy and Webb Ellis. Brilliant, okay, next question. In the girls' break time chess game, who did they think was winning? Okay, who do they think was winning? Okay, right, we need to get these ones in, please, nice and quickly. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Let's turn those over. Okay, quickly, please, both I'm going to have to hurry you. Okay, the answer was they weren't sure, so points go to Webb Ellis, Hardy, and Beauclerc. Okay, question number three. What kind of patrol, not poor patrol, what kind of patrol did Mr. Ortiz call his duty at lunchtime? What kind of patrol? I need you to be quite quick on this, please, teams. It's a one word answer. Okay. Okay, on the count of three, then, please. One, two, three. Turn it over. The answer was Salad Patrol. Correct, that's a full house of points, please, Mr. Driver. Full house of points. Question number four. Why couldn't Marissa, this is the person you can see on the board, speak? Why couldn't Marissa speak? It's on the board. Right, okay. On the count of three, please. One. Two, three. The answer was her mouth was full of food, so it's another full house of points, please. Question number five. In exactly which corner of the goal was the slow motion penalty scored in the CGA? They need to be exact. What was it? Top, bottom, left, right, middle. Okay. Top, bottom, left, right. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three, turn it over. Top corner, top corner, top left. Okay, the answer was top left corner. So the answer, the point goes to Webb, Ellis and Hardy. Question number six. This is a difficult one, this. In the final scene of the Borders singing, brilliant singing that it was, which Seattle grunge band could be seen on the black T-shirt? Ooh, you might not get this one. What was the name of the band on the black t-shirt? You don't know? I think we have a lot of blank faces. I might turn this one over to the audience. Oh no, we got... Okay, I'm going to ask you to turn your boards over. One, two, three. Webb Ellis aren't sure, Hardy aren't sure. 
Folk Clerk aren't sure? Good idea. It was rock band. It wasn't a rock band. The name of the band, we're not going to turn to you for a little bit push of time. Sorry, guys. The name was Nirvana. Okay, which brings us to the end of this round. Yeah. No, end of the round. Mr. Driver, have we got some scores? Okay, so we've got Arnold in fourth place on seven. We've got Beauclerc in third place on eighth. Second place, Web Ellis on ten. And just in the lead, Hardy on eleven. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. Now, the next round's a lot quicker. It's a buzzer round, so you need to get your buzzers ready. Uh, remember, you can only answer once. You need to hit the buzzer. You may not hit the buzzer until I have finished answering the question. Okay. Remember to speak into your microphones. Okay, question number one. Who is this book character? Hardy. Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka is the correct answer. Willy Wonka! Question number two. Who is this book character? Professor Severus Snape. I'm going to ask Hardy. Hardy? Snape. That's not quite the right answer. Arnold. Professor Snape. That's not quite the right answer. Webb Ellis. Severus Snape is the correct answer. Question number three. Okay, remember you must wait until I've finished asking the question before you buzz in. What is the name of this television show? Web Ellis. It is the Teletubbies. Question number four. Please wait until I've finished the question. What type of animal is Shenzi? Hyena. Web Ellis. Hyena. Is the correct answer. <laughs> Remember, Bo Clerk, don't shout out the answer, you need to hit the buzzer. Question number five. This trophy is awarded. You can't buzz, you, you can't buzz in yet. You cannot buzz in yet. This trophy is awarded to the winner of which competition? Football! Arnold. Football. Is that your final answer? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm afraid I can't give you that answer. Well, Hardy. Well, well, it is the World Cup. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Question number six. What is the name of the cat in the film Lightyear? What is the name of the cat in the film night here? Where Felix. Is? It is not Felix. Nobody know this one? Anyone want to have a go? The answer was socks. There we go. Good, that's the end of the picture round. Mr. Driver, do we have some scores? Okay, at the end of round three, we have got, in fourth place, Arnold on seven. In third place, Beauclerc on eight. And in joint first place now, Hardy and Webb Ellis. Yeah. Really good. Okay, moving on to the round four, which is the observation round. This is on your boards again, not on the buzzers. Your answers are either be A, B or C. Right. Look at this picture. How many steps would you climb to get from floor one to floor three, starting from where the pink man is standing? Is it A, B or C? Please write your answers on your board. Don't shout them out, both work. A, B or C? We can do this nice and quickly. Three, two, one. Show me your boards, please. A, B or C? Okay, we've got B, we've got C. The answer was 48, which is A. Which I'm afraid is no point to anybody. We didn't go for that one. Okay, question number two. What is the room number of the IT hub? Is it A, B, or C? Write the letter A, B, or C. Is it A, B, or C? Three. You need to give me an answer, please. Three. Two, one, 
Turn your boards, please. Show the audience as well. The answer was C2233, which is C. I'm afraid nobody got that one either. Mr. Burkle, did you know that? No, okay. Question number three. What are the last two words out this, outside the theatre? If music be the food of love, is it A, eat up, B, come in, or C, play on? A, B, or C? Okay, three, two, one. Turn your boards, please. And the answer was C, play on, so that's points to Bokra, Hardy, and Web Ellis. Okay, Hardy, well, that's. Question number four. In which year did Rugby UK become a school for girls as well as for boys? Was it... Which year was it? Need to write down the year. Thank you, Mr. Gore, for the one question that the multiple choice answers. Okay. Right, three... Two, one, turn the boards. Okay, the answer was, as maybe some of you saw, 1975, so points to Beauclerk and Hardy. <laughs> Question number five. This is a really tricky one. Thank you, Mr. Gore, for giving us a nice long one here. What do the letters A, E, D stand for on the side of this box? Let's not shout it out, please, by some caution. If you're not sure, then don't worry, I'm going to give you another five seconds. It's a really long one, this. If nobody knows the answer, I'm going to go to our judge, Mr. Driver, to see if he knows the answer. Okay, I'm going to ask you to turn your boards around with whatever idea you've got. Three, two, one. Aid education pump, I like that. Where Bella's not sure, not sure over here. And aid kids. Right, Mr. Mr. Driver, can you tell us the answer? I, do, I love this game, yeah. Uh, it is automated external defibrillator. Well done, Mr. Driver, we are very Mr. impressed. Mr. Driver knows how to use Google, so. Okay. Good. Last question. This is a good one too. This is not a multiple choice question. How many showers are there in this building, the Berapan building? How many showers are there in this building? I'm going to give you a clue. It's a single figure number. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9. It's a single figure number. Okay, just need to give me a number. On the count of three. One, two, three. Show me your boards, please. Where better? Zero. Hardy one. Boko one. Arnold six. The answer is actually four. There's one in each science lab. Yeah, there we go. Good. That is the end of that round. The observation round. Um, Mr. Driver, how are the scores doing? Scores okay. Arnold uh, still in fourth place with seven. Beauclerk in third with ten. Uh, second place, Web Ellis 14, just in front again now uh, on 15, it's Hardy. <laughs> Round five is in. So we're on our boards again. Okay. Quiet to the audience, please. I think I have a virtually no battery power in my mind. Okay, question number one. What is a phony? Okay, one, two, three. The arm. A speech sound. So that was Hardy Arnold and Beauclerk, please. Hardy Arnold and Beauclerk. 
Question number two. Luke loves lying to lions is what type of poetic device? Personification, simile or alliteration? Three, two, one. Turn your boards around, please. The answer is, of course, C, alliteration. Question number three. Everybody, sorry. Question number three. I could hear the children playing which of the five senses is described in the sentence? Hear, sight, or taste? Okay, nice easy one. Three, two, one. Turn over your boards, please. Yes, the answer is A, here. That's the full house again, please. Question number four. Can you sit down, please? Can you sit? Very close, you can sit down. Thank you. Question number four. Like a cat, he jumped up the wall. That's how people describe me. What descriptive technique has been used to describe the man jumping? Now, you need to write the answer to this. Like a cat, he jumped up the wall. What descriptive technique has been used to describe the man jumping? Okay, three, two, one. Turn your boards over. Brilliant, that's another full house. It is a simile. Beauclerk, I would suggest you keep your discussions really quiet because I think the rest of the teams can hear you. Okay, question number five. Who wrote Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, James and the Giant Peach, the BFG, Fantastic Mr. Fox, the Twix, and many other famous stories? You need to write the answer. Who wrote Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, James and the Giant Peach, the BFG, Fantastic Mr. Fox, the Twix, and many other famous stories? Three. Two, one, turn your boards over, please. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to be generous. I'm going to give them all a point for that's a difficult name to spell. That's a full house, please, Mr. Driver. The answer, of course, is Roll Dar. Question number six, and the last one in the English, lamp, um, uh, English round. Name a word beginning with D, which is a synonym for extremely sad. Synonym for extremely sad. Okay, I'm gonna have to hurry you. Okay, three, two, one. We have... Okay, the answer I was looking for was depressed. That's points for Hardy and Beauclerk. Yeah. Disappointed wasn't quite the same as extremely sad. Okay. Three, two, Be one. Quiet. Turn your boards, please. Be quiet. Yes, of course, the answer is B. Yes, audience, really quiet. Please, that's really important. B, collage. Good. Question number two. Which famous French artist, a bit of alliteration, loved to paint the... Sorry, audience, can you ask me to be quiet? The view from the, his window and painted the goldfish in 1912. Was it A, Henri Matisse, B, Claude Monet, or C, Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec? Okay, on the count of three, please. One, two, three. Turn your boards. Yes, the answer was A, Henri Matisse. That's everybody, please. It was a full house last round as well. Okay. Question number three. What type of pencil is best for sketching light ghost lines? Is it A, H20, B, HB or CHP? A, B or C, please. On the count of three. One, two, three. Turn your boards, please. Yes, there's another full house, please, Mr. Driver. It was, the answer was B, HB, correct. Question number four. Name this artist who famously cut his ear off in a rage of madness. Now, I'm not giving you multiple choice here. What was the name of this artist? Okay, I need to hurry a little bit here. Okay, the name of this artist. This is actually a picture he drew of himself. You can see he's got a bandage on his ear for this reason. Right, okay, I'm going to ask the teams to turn their boards on the count of three. One, 
two, three, turn your boards. Okay. We've got some good ideas here. I'm going to give points to Hardy and Beauclerk. The answer was Vincent van Gogh, but a good idea, Arnold, with Leonardo da Vinci, but not quite right, I'm afraid. It was uh, Hardy and Beauclerk. Question number five. Which two colours make purple? Which two colours make purple? Oh, on the count of three, please. Those two colours is all I need to see. One, two, three, turn your boards. Well done, team. It's a full house again. Red and blue. Last question for art. Name the long words starting with E that we use to name a display of artwork arranged for people to come and see. So outside of this theatre, by the prep entrance, you see one of these ever so often. We've got Inktober up there at the moment. Now what we do we call that? It's a name beginning with an E. What do we call that when we're showing lots of artwork to people? It begins with an E. Do we have some ideas? On the count of three, one, two, and three. Turn your boards, please. Board. Exhibit. Exhibit. What do you have over there? Okay, the answer is actually an exhibition. I think I'll be generous to give that to Beauclerk, Hardy and Webb Ellis. Congratulations. And that is the end of the art round. Let's give them a clap, please, everybody. Uh, Mr. Driver, how are the scores looking? Okay, close in the middle. In fourth place on 16 points are Arnold. In third place, Beauclerk on 22. Webb Ellis just, uh, just in front of Beauclerk on 23. And in first place, extending their lead, Hardy on 27. Well done, Hardy. Right, this is a buzz around, so remember you need to wait till I finish my question. Um, we skip science round, Mr. Dryden. Okay, on the buzzers, please. Look carefully at this picture. This car number plate is registered to which province in Thailand? Hardy. Sean Marie. Is the correct answer. Yes. Question number two. The Galaxy, a massive abandoned cruise ship, can be found on what Thai island? Hardy. Ko Chang. Ko Chang is the correct answer. What is the name of the island visible from Pattaya Beach? Where is? Is not the correct answer, I'm afraid. Hardy. Koh Samet. Koh Samet is not the correct answer, I'm afraid. Do you want to buzz in and have a go, anybody? No? Okay, the correct answer. Oh, we're Arnold. Coach Chang. Coach Chang, I'm afraid it's not the correct answer. Does everybody in the audience know? At the front here in Beauclerc? We're not sure. I can see Nico over there. Colan is the correct answer, it's a point to Arnold. Well done, well done, Nico. Right, question number four. What is the name of the famous tourist construction made entirely from wood situated in Narclua, North Pattaya? What is the name of the construction made entirely of wood in North Pattaya? Does anybody know? Oh, we're not sure of this one. I'm going to give this over to the audience and one person in the audience at the front of Beauclerc. Say it again nice and loudly. I'm afraid that's not quite right. At the back in Hardy. It is a temple, but it's not quite a temple. Where Bellis over here next to Mr. McNally? It, is that Cream? Is the correct answer? It's a sanctuary of three. The point to Where Bellis. Question number five. About how many Thai baht would one Chinese yuan or renminbi buy you? It's a buzzer, remember? Hardy. Five. Is about the correct answer, yes, about five Thai baht. Quiet, please, in the audience. Quiet, please. Jish. 
Question number six. Who is the tallest teacher in the prep school? Hardy. Mr. Howe. Is the correct answer by a matter of millimetres, slightly taller than me and Mr. Kane. Good, that is the end of that round. Mr. Driver, do we have some scores? Yes, we do. Uh, fourth place, Arnold, 17. Third place, Beauclerc, 22. Second place, Webell is 24. And extending their lead now quite far is Hardy on 31. Yeah! Well done, Hardy. Okay, our next round is a music round. Now, this is on your boards. You will hear... Shush, shush, shush. You will hear a music clip. Now, when the music clip ends, you will have to turn your board over. There is a question attached to it. So, the first question is, what movie would you be watching if you heard this song? Now, you will need to write the movie as it's playing. When it finishes, you will need to turn your boards around. So, if you haven't turned your board around, then you won't be counted. Here we go. Ah, let's... I like to move it, move it. I like to move it. Okay, turn your boards around, I think you all saw. Of course, it's Madagascar. Brilliant, is the answer for the third time. Question number two. What would you be doing if you heard this song? Okay, turn those boards around, please. Turn the boards around. Okay, we're not sure over there. We have dancing, kahoot, kahoot, and nothing. Okay, the answer was actually playing Gim Kit. No points to anyone on that one. Question number three. Which traditional instrument, I'm so careful here, is being played in this mean-tastic song? Which instrument is playing it? Okay, turn those balls around please. Three, two, one. Electric keyboard bagpipes. Ukulele. Well, there's points to Hardy. It is actually the bagpipes. Question number four. There we are. In what film does this song feature? You need to be exactly right with this answer. Which song is this? Okay. Turn those boards over now, please. We have Despicable Me, Minions, Despicable Me, Despicable Me 4. The answer, and I did say you had to be exact, is Despicable Me 4. So it's only points to, or a point to Arnold. You are very close over the air. Question number five. In which movie does everybody get up and dance to this song? Okay, not, not shouting in the audience, please. Okay, let's have some answers. Okay, three, two, one. Arnold and Beckler, not sure. We've got Spickle with Me 2 from Hardy, Spickle Me 2 from Web Ellis. I'm not that unimaginative. Does anybody in the audience know? Because that is not the right answer. Actually, let's have you shout it out. Anybody who knows what it is? <laughs> of course, it's Barbie, which is actually Mr. Driver's favourite film. Question number six. What are you waiting for if you hear this music? Go <laughs> shout out to the answer. Okay, boys and girls, have we got our answer? 
counts in three, two, one. Yes, it's a full house, of course, it's Kahoot, there it is. Kahoot, full house, please, Mr. Driver. And at the end of the music round, can we have some scores, please, Mr. Driver? Okay, so fourth place, Arnold on 20. Third place, Beauclerk on 24. Second place, Webb Ellis on 26. First place, Hardy on 33. Well done, Hardy, good luck, please. Okay, last two rounds. So, now this round is a bit different. There are two possible answers. You either need to write more, actually that's not quite true, there's three possible answers. You need to write more or less, or grammatically fewer, depending on the question. I'm a linguist. Okay, so question number one. Does the average hippo weigh more or less than 15 adult humans? You need to write more or less, what do you think? More or less, don't you shout it out in the audience? Okay, three, two, one. See your answers, please. More, 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 more. Only Hardy on less. The answer is more. A hippo weighs about the same as 20 adult humans, believe it or not. So that's Webb Ellis, Hardy, and Beauclerk for points, please. Well done. Question number two. In RST, are there more or fewer year four students to year three students? So you need to write more or fewer. There are more year four or fewer year four students to year three. More or fewer. Three, two, one. Turn your boards over, please. We have fewer, more, the same. There's not an option, both though. And Arnold, I can't quite see your board. More. The answer is fewer. So it's points to Web Ellis because there's actually 73 students in year four and 79 in year three. So there are fewer. The points to Web Ellis, well done. Question number three in Thailand. Are there more or fewer McDonald's to KFC? Are there more McDonald's or fewer McDonald's? Quiet in the audience, please. Quiet. Okay. Shush, shush. Three, two, one. Turn your boards. Fewer, more, fewer, fewer. The answer is fewer. So that is points to Arnold, Webb Ellis and Hardy. There are almost, there are over twice as many KFCs to McDonald's. Question number four. Does a blue whale weigh more or less than a hundred giraffes? Okay, right down. Does a blue whale, whale weigh more or less than one hundred giraffes? Three, two, one. Turn the boards, please. The answer, of course, is more for a full house. A blue whale, blue whale weighs 190 tons, about the same as 150 giraffes. So well done, that is more. All points to everybody, please. Question number five, I like this question. Is the world record for the highest number ever counted to more or less than two million? More or less than two million? Counting. The gentleman counted to a number, was it more or less than two million? Three, two, one, turn your boards. Less, less, less. Where Bellis are going with more? The answer was less. It took Jerry Harper three months to count to one million. So points to Hardy, Arnold and Beauclerk. Last question this round. Are there more or fewer Spanish first language speakers than English? More or fewer Spanish first language speakers than English first language speakers? More or less. Okay, three, two, one. Turn your boards, please. We have more, less, less, less. So we've got less from everybody apart from Webb Ellis. The answer is more. So we're done, Webb Ellis. There are 450 million Spanish to 380 million English speakers. Last question in this round. Does a 330 milliliter can of Sprite contain more or less sugar than a 330 milliliter can of Coke? More or less, you want some ideas in the audience? You can keep those ideas to yourself as much as possible. Okay, three, two, one. Turn your boards, please. Less, more. So everybody's on less apart from Beauclerk. Beauclerk has some in there. The answer is less, so that's points to Webb Ellis, Hardy, and Arnold. By quite a long way, Coke's got 14 grams more sugar per can. That's the end of that round. And just before we go into the final round, 
Mr. Driver, what are the current scores? So, in fourth place, Arnold on 24. Third place, Bo Clark on 27. Second place, Webber on 32. First place, Hardy on 38. Well done, Hardy. Okay, so this round is worth double because it is our final general knowledge, general knowledge round. Okay, so you need to be on your buzzers for this. Remember, don't press the buzzer till I finish. Can you sit down, Bo Clark? Sit down, please. Thank you. It's the wires which worry us. Okay, here we go. Remember, let me finish first. Who won the 2018 Football World Cup held in Russia? I'm waiting for a buzzer. Bo Clark. France. Is the correct answer. Double score. Question number two. Oh no, bonus question. Who came second? Hit your buzzer. Who came second? Hit your buzzers. It's a difficult one. Arnold. Philippines. Say it again. Philippines. No, I'm afraid it wasn't the Philippines. Hardy. England. England. Oh, I wish it were. They didn't go that far. Okay, last last chance. Arnold. Spain. It wasn't Spain. I'm going to say it was actually Croatia. Okay. Question number two. What is the capital of Spain? Arnold. Madrid. Is the correct answer. Question number three. Name the person who currently lives at Sandringham House, Balmoral Castle and Windsor Castle. Who lives in these three residences? Spoke The king. Which one? Which one? King Charles. Where that is? King Charles. King Charles, I'll accept it's King Charles III, correct. Question number four. Anchor what can be found in which South Asian, South East Asian country? Hardy. Cambodia. Is the correct answer. Question number five. How many weeks are there in a year? Hardy. 52. Is the correct answer. Question number six. Which country does this flag belong to? Hardy. Malaysia. Malaysia is the correct answer. Tish, quietly, please. Thank you. Arnold, I might have to take a point off if we carry on. Question number seven. Who lives and works in this building? Hardy. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, can I pass it over to the other teams? Um. Who lives and works in this building? Ooh, it's a tricky one I thought. Arnold. Not Kia Starmer, it's a good, good answer though. Okay. We've timed out, we need to move on because we're running out of time. The answer is US President Joe Biden. Question number eight. How many zeros are there in 100,000? Hardy. Five. Is the correct answer. Why did I use this picture as a prompt? What are those things called? Well, I'll tell you, they are called hundreds and thousands. We need to move on then. What is the fastest animal on land? Uh, Arnold. Is the correct answer. Quiet to the audience, please. And the final question of the quiz. How many strings does a violin have? Where that is? Five. Is not the correct answer, I'm afraid. Photo. Four. Is the correct answer. Which brings us to the end of the quiz. Mr. Driver. If you're ready, over to you. Okay, well done to all of our finalists. We're going to give each team a nice round of applause. It's very, very difficult to come up here. Okay, that's, that's, that's lovely. We're going to give a round of applause to each team after I announce where they finish. And... <laughs> Uh, thank you to the audience, you've been very patient.
I'm going to read the results now, but remember, the overall House General Knowledge Quiz winners are announced at the end of the term assembly. The last House Assembly, last day of term, uh, where the winning House will be watching a movie. Okay, so, in fourth place, Arnold on 28. In third place, Beauclerk on 31. In second place, Webb Ellis on 34. And you don't need to be a genius to work out. Hardy ran away with it in that last round there. We're on 46 points. These will all, be, all will be added to the other year groups as well. Congratulations, year three and four winners, Hardy. Yeah.